Dawson Naidu, who is there, a civil society activist, also the Executive Secretary of the Council for the Advancement of the South African Constitution. Lawson, welcome to the program. I mean, Ensa Peng there was telling us about how Zuma has been making public remarks which uh, appear to have been undermining the Constitution. This is your area of expertise. Do you think his advisors have been getting it wrong in the way they're trying to shape his reaction to what's going on. It was in April that his legal defense team resigned because they said we can't even speak to him directly. Well, indeed. I mean, it's, it appears that Mr. Zuma has been taking legal advice, rather uh, uh, taking political advice rather than legal advice, and has landed himself in the quandary that he is. He has, you know, gone on a deliberate mission to undermine the integrity of the court system to attack specific judges and accusing them of uh, being biased and some of even being corrupt. And I think the court had to send a strong message today. And some of the language used in this uh, judgment was unusually strong, particularly for the uh, Constitutional Court. But I think they felt it was necessary to make a very clear uh, line in the sand that attacks on the judiciary will not be tolerated and that the rule of law must be upheld and that everyone is subject to the rule of law in South Africa. And that, uh, as you said earlier, Mr. Zuma, as a former president, uh, holds an even higher uh, duty of responsibility to abide by the Constitution. So this is a very strong and clear judgment that I believe uh, strengthens the foundations of our constitu constitutional democracy. Is there something in the South African Constitution which may have allowed him to carry on the way he did in terms of the charges he's facing for state capture, for corruption. Because of the way he went about it, so many of his family members became rich, so many other family connections, they became rich. Is there anything in the Constitution which may defend some of his actions in the way he gave certain contracts and certain uh, government favors to? No, on the contrary, the, con the Constitution is very clear about conflicts of interest of those holding public office. And uh, Mr. Zuma was clearly conflicted in that he exercised the uh, political authority when he was the head of state to favor certain uh, individuals. That's certainly the, the evidence that has been led before a uh, commission of inquiry that is currently investigating state capture, to which Mr. Zuma refuses to go and uh, answer questions. So the, the Constitution is very uh, strict on that. There are no provisions for immunity from prosecution for either uh, sitting or former presidents. And uh, Mr. Zuma and some of his allies may find themselves facing further criminal charges uh, once the uh, Commission of Inquiry into State Capture has completed its work in a few months' time. Can you understand how his legal team and how he have been conducting him th themselves since this all started? Because it suggests that he has a certain amount of confidence that he may be found not guilty of these charges. And yet people looking from the outside are thinking, hold on, this guy could actually spend the rest of his life in prison. And yet he doesn't act like that. Well, I think he realized quite early on that, he's, uh, that he had no legal defense uh, to what he was seeking to do, to ignore a commission of inquiry, to ignore a lawfully issued subpoena to appear and give evidence. And he uh, then chose to fight it on the political terrain, uh, drawing the courts into those political battles rather than to seek to defend himself in court. Uh, notably, in this, in this very contempt of court case, Mr. Zuma refused to uh, file any documents in response to the application, uh, didn't give the court anything to go on, and left them with no choice but, uh, firstly, to find him guilty, and secondly, to, to demonstrate their, uh, 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 you know, their, their uh, attitude towards his conduct by issuing a 15-month jail sentence that uh, begins immediately. He has to present himself to a police station within five days. Quite incredible. Lawson, thank you so much indeed. Really appreciate you talking to us on the news hour. Lawson Naidu in Cape Town.